Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Let's talk about the time I went to slave camp. Stay with me. So apparently it's a thing here in the Midwest region of the United States to teach young children about slavery by shipping them off to a camp and recreate slavery. And that's where our journey begins here today, folks, because I kid you not, I participated in that. I didn't have any choice whatsoever. It was like sponsored by my school. And for all the people that are only gonna watch the first five seconds of this video and, and hate me for it, you're gonna need to cure me out on this because I realize how messed up this whole thing is. So to start off with, they had to recreate the journey of shipping millions of Africans to the United States by shipping a bunch of sixth grade suburban middle class white kids to Indiana. And we get there and like all of us are kind of confused because we knew like what we were gonna get into but we didn't really know what was going to happen. So they keep us in like this small room for like 20 minutes where they say like, all right, a lot of stuff's gonna happen. It's all fake. And in the end, we're all gonna learn about slavery and the Underground Railroad. So after about 20 minutes of them just like kind of explaining like, hey, this is not gonna be real, but we're gonna have a great time doing this. They said we're gonna have a great time. You can't say great time in slavery in the same sentence. So after about 20 minutes of this, they open up the doors and say, run free. <laughs> I'm in sixth grade. I can't navigate through a forest. So literally what happened was we had to recreate, you know, the Underground Railroad and then getting caught, you know, be trying to escape the South. So right now in your mind, you should have like 40 middle class white sixth graders running through a forest while like seven or eight, like 50 year old men chase after you. So we're all frantically running through a forest at 1030 at night trying to run from people that like 10 minutes ago were saying, hey, this is gonna be a fun time. So spoiler alert, sixth graders lose in this scenario. Eventually one by one, we all get caught and we're forced to like line up in this line. And they put like handcuffs, they put handcuffs on us. So we're all standing in a line with handcuffs on us. They're not like real, but they still lock you in. All six or seven grown men proceed to walk down the line and individually scream at every child. So eventually the guy comes to me and at the top of his lungs, he yells at me, asking me what I'm good for. So he's asking me as a sixth grader, pretending to be an African-American in the 1800s, that's messed up. He's screaming at me, asking me what I'm good for, what I can do to service him. So looking back on it, I realized the correct answer was to say, you know, picking cotton or working in the field. But why would I say that? I'm in sixth grade at the time, and, and up to that point, I lived a fairly privileged lifestyle. I'm not good at picking cotton, nor what, I don't want to do that. So sixth grade me decided he was going to say cooking because I was very good at cooking in sixth grade. Spoiler alert, that's not the correct answer to say. He proceeds to scream at me, calling me, like I'm in sixth grade and they're adults so they like couldn't swear or anything, which I imagine in the 1800s, completely different ball game. But he's screaming at me, calling me like a sissy boy. You a sissy boy working in the kitchen? I'm in sixth grade, I am emotionally vulnerable. I cried in front of a bunch of my peers and at least three girls that I was interested in. I crying and even though I'm crying he's still doing it he broke me he broke a sixth grade version of me and then proceeded to do it more so after he finishes up with me he finishes up with the rest of the line I'm not the only one that cried then they clapped they started clapping saying great job everyone and like I verbally can't communicate on so many levels how wrong this situation was even worse so after they applauded us for doing a great job reenacting slavery <laughs> I never thought I'd have to say that. After applauding us for reenacting slavery, they said, quote, let's all go get ice cream, which I'm not the best at history, but I'm pretty sure that's not how slavery ended. After slavery was abolished, it wasn't a group of men like saying like, hey, sorry that we've mistreated you for the past uh, ever. Let's go get some ice cream. And everyone was like, yeah, this is, everything's okay now. No, an entire group of individuals were persecuted against. They're still being persecuted against. Racism is still an issue. So I guess the moral of the story is, what? What's even more messed up is I pushed this out of my, I didn't remember this whole scenario until like a year ago. I was talking to my friend and he brought up that he did it and I was like, I did the same thing. So I guess the moral of the story is, that's so wrong. A bunch of middle class white suburban sixth graders reenacting slavery is not how you teach people about slavery. We're all in agreement that slavery was a very, very, very bad thing. Hey, uh, this was a thing that happened to me. If you enjoyed this horribly messed up situation, uh, make sure to click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more stories about my incredibly messed up past that I'm still just remembering stories that I pushed out of my brain. I'll see you guys sometime later this week. All right, bye.